One can say shoes are a bit of a universal language. Shoes can reveal a lot about the wearer and the, and the wearer's living, the society the wearer is living in. The exhibition Shoes, Pleasure and Pain is about our obsession with shoes and how shoes are identifiers of status and, and even sexual preference. These shoes are my favourites, or one of my favourites. Um, they're also the tallest shoes in the exhibition. They are um, 28.5 centimetres high and they were worn by women in the Ottoman Empire and they were worn in bathhouses. They started off very practical, uh, just to lift your feet off the, the heated wet floors. But the problem was that no one would see that you were rich when you're naked. So the shoes grew and grew and grew. And, and they became this tall. You can't really walk in them, so you need a maid to help you walk. So further um, telling everyone, I am so rich, I'm wearing really high impractical uh, footwear, and I have to bring my maid. The majority of the shoes in the exhibition comes from the vast collection of the V&A. There are heavily uh, decorated with um, crystals, with beads and spangles and sometimes even real jewels. And all of those told me that these shoes were for people with money or wanting to be seen as someone of wealth and importance. 